Hello everybody, this is Quinn, and today we're going to be doing a video on installing DOS 6.22, not the 3 disc version, but a version that is in MS Boot Discs, I'm pretty sure it's called alldisc.com or something, I'll leave a, dis um, a link in the description for that, but we're going to be using the DOS 6.22.exe file that they um, provide, if you're going to be, if, this is the DOS one, if you're going to be using five and a quarter inch, they also supply one for that. So, first, um, if your hard drive is not already formatted, which we will go over how to do that. So first, put your boot disk in here. Power on the computer. And let's just look, see what happens. As you can see, this is the gateway computer. And it's going to start MS-DOS. Which, actually, it's going to go into a CD-ROM drive sort of state for some reason. But once you get it installed, it's never going to do this. Yep, it's going to it's gonna read the driver, which is means it's installed. That's good. And there you go. So, what you're going to do, um, this is a very, this is a quick way, so you don't need to do an extra step. To format C... What we're going to do, since, actually, since there is no partitions, what you're going to make sure all partitions are deleted. Where you're going to go, you're going to do fdisk, f disk, and you're going to run fdisk. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do four to check all the partitions. If you see any, just delete them. Now, to create the DOS partition, you're going to do one. You want to create a primary one first, um, and it might take a while to load depending on how big your hard drive is or how slow it is. So, um, do we want to use the maximum size? Yes. And after you press enter, it might take a while. Then it's created, so we're going to restart the computer. I'll pause it. And it is past all that stuff. Now it's starting MS-DOS. Now the C drive is readable after this all loads. Okay, since that's done, we're going to do C colon. And there we go. Now there's going to be nothing on it. But what you want to do is go back to A drive. Just do that to make sure the C drive is accessible. If it says invalid media type, that means you ha don't have a primary DOS partition. We're gonna do, we're gonna do it to the A. Now we're gonna do F disk again. Cap walks off. We're gonna create a DOS partition, and we're gonna go to two to make an extended one. This is just more of an add-on to the pre-DOS to give you some more features. And there we go. Now it's gonna say no logical drives. Um, for this case, we're gonna make one. This is just gonna be a small D drive. And done. So we have a D drive entered. So now we can check the active partitions. There we go. We have the two, and we're gonna. The we already have an active partition, so we're just gonna escape and restart. Pause it. Okay, we're back to the booting process. Know that until we copy all the files until the very end, you will not be able to take this disk out. This disk is needed to do all the copying to the hard drive. Now, this is not going to be a full three disk, as I said in the beginning. This is just a, this is just the all allbootdisks.com. Um, I think that's what it's called. Disk version that you can copy to and you can boot off of, which has many features. So after this, what you're gonna do? Oh crap. Oh, wait, never mind. I already did run to F disk. So, what you're going to do is you're going to do um, format, and then you're going to do the C drive, C colon, C colon, but you're going to do slash S, which will actually give it the system files.
Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, C dot dot. Uh, that S? Oh, no, wait, <laughs> dang it. Um, A drive. Man, this is going weird. A drive. Now, format C space slash S. You want to do a space and then a forward slash, I'm pretty sure. Or backslash, not sure, but it looks like that. That kind of slash on your keyboard. Press enter. Now that slash s is going to add the system files to the hard disk. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press y. Make sure all your files that you want or know you'll need are backed up. Because this will erase the hard disk completely. Then press Y, and I'm going to pause it because this may take a while. Okay, everyone, so as you can see, it's very close to being completed. Now, depending on your hard drive, this may take super long or super short. And done. Now, you can name your hard drive whatever you want, but I'm just not going to name it. And there you go. Now, now when we do a C dot dot and we do a directory there you go we have the necessary command com files to use so what we're gonna do is we're gonna this is just for um, OCD sake for me I just hate having all this random nonsense on screen you're gonna see ls well that's what I'm gonna do you don't need to though so we're gonna a dot dot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do copy Copy A. Oh no, actually, dang it! I keep forgetting this step, but I I always remember it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do M D. For some reason, it's M D. Don't know why. M D. And then you're gonna name it. Well, this is just the directory. Make sure you do that. C dot dot. I'm not sure if that's forward or backslash, but that type of slash on your keyboard. Then just name it DOS. D O S. And there you go. Now you're gonna do copy a dot dot colon not colon. Well yeah, a colon that slash again. And then you're gonna do space C dot dot I mean colon that slash again, but you're gonna do DOS. And as you can see it's gonna copy all the things you need to. Which there are a long thing list of things. QBasic. Now the thing the undelete also yeah, C D two edit help, blah blah blah. Mouse drivers edit edit DOS key, unformat tree, fine. I'm just naming all these. There are a lot of files on here. But yeah, after that. After all this is done, as you can see, there's format to format disks, and done. So just to make sure, I do this every time, I do copy. Well, you should do this on earlier versions of DOS, but on 6.2, I also do it, but usually it all always auto copies. A colon weird slash, and we're gonna do command dot com, and then we're gonna do C dot dot not DOS, just in there in general. Press enter. And, yeah, this usually auto does it, but do not override it. Press N. And nothing will be copied. But, if we do a directory of C, we can see that we have the DOS folder, which has all the files stored. So, what we're going to do is make sure to take the disk out. 
And if you're storing it somewhere, just put it back in its storage, or if you don't want to do that, and if you're using it on something else, just put it there. But I'm going to put it back in my little folder, which, as you can see, has DOS 6.22, DOS 5.0, and here is DOS 3.3, which um, they are basically all the same to install, if you didn't know. So, after that, we can do a Control-Alt-Delete and reset it without a disk in. As you can see, this is pressed in, no disk. And look what's going to happen. It's going to boot from the gateway sign, and then we should... Ha yep, there we go. We have MS-DOS. Now, if your time is wrong, just insert the new time. And that should, yep, that's all the right time. And look, there we go, Microsoft DOS version 6.22. And now we can do directories, and we can do CD. Now what CD does is, um, little lesson, CD, then we pick DOS. Since some files, like DOS, are a folder, CD lets you, as you can see, we are inside that folder. So when we do a directory, not getting it from the entire C drive, we're just getting it from DOS. So then we can do CD C. Yeah, okay, let's try CD. This is experiment. CD C. I guess I'm still in DOS. I don't know how to do that, but as you can see right here, let's do Q basic. And look, we're in basic. And um, let's do a famous LGR program now I am typing slow because I have to hold um, the camera with one hand twenty go to ten ten nope ten and F5, because you can't just type run. You sort of have to do F5. And look, there we go. Now, actually, I'm not sure I would escape this, so... Yeah, um... I'll just turn it off. So, yeah, um... That is it. Hope you enjoyed. Um, this is gonna be a part of a series that me and my brother Kellen, which if you didn't subscribe to his channel, I will also leave a link for that in the description. He has a new channel, which his first video will hopefully be on DOS, like he'll do a DOS command series. And me and him will be both working on DOS. But yeah, hope, hope you enjoyed, and um, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.